there you go. The last time we saw these Defender MX 2.8s was on the Rift. Now, the laser nut. I'm going to show this to you on the table and get outside and rip some donuts. Oh yeah, take a look. Overall, I think they look pretty decent on here. Kind of beefy, a little more bash worthy, I guess you could say. Now, they are belted. So, with them being belted, they're not going to expand. Probably not going to be a backflip tire for this. As far as power goes, stock motor, stock pinions, got all kinds of Vitavon. This back here was a major issue with that stock system. I've heard that they updated their, their design from low C and put bigger bearings in there. I hope so. So, I got a Reese 400 SE V2 servo. A Monster X ESC. That ESC change, I did a video on this. That ESC change helped reduce the cogging from this motor by a lot. I mean a lot. So, yeah, pretty big on that. You can see I got the Vitavon axle shafts and hubs at both ends. Yeah, pretty much. And I'm still running the stock bell crank. I actually have not broken that. And it's kind of tightened down pretty well, too. So, anyway, we're going to get this thing powered up with a 4S and get it outside. Well, let's give this thing a pull. Wow, it sounds so mild. Definitely slides. I wonder if this thing is even fast enough on 4S. I mean, really, it's on 4S to get the jumps. It's definitely mild as compared to that Typhon I had. <laughs> Woo! That to that. Let's see. Yeah! Oh yeah, plenty of speed. Oh! Listen to that Casalia C take off. Oh, really smooth. Now, when the motor gets hot, it does get a little bit more coggy, but I mean, I got to say that ESC was a world of, of a benefit. I mean, just awesome as opposed to the stock ESC. I don't really want to hit this. I think I might play around on it a little bit. It's a little bit much for, you know, really getting stupid. But then again, it may not have enough power to really get stupid. Let's see. Yeah, it uh, it got a little stupid. Something on the other side too. Oh, <laughs> missed that completely. <laughs> I gotta tell you guys, it's dusty out here. This is not a normal thing for the Exoplex. Nice little shot right there. Pretty much nothing I can do here. <laughs> that was pathetic. I don't have a U4 style track or anything really suited for this. Got some of those donuts I wanted to do. Guess I'm gonna give it a good little rip here and uh, take this thing in. I mean, it's doing fine. Definitely a different pace of a vehicle as opposed to as opposed to what I'm used to driving here lately. Ow! 
doesn't quite have enough to get the uh, jump coming back, does it? Got plenty to get it that way. <laughs> it's a lightweight vehicle too. Go get it, go get it, go get it. No! <laughs> Oh, I got a little wheelie. Oh, and I saved it. See what it's got on the grass real quick. Doable. Plenty doable. Good drive. I gotta say, uh, and I think for what I do, the way I drive, most of the time, these are actually a better fit than the sand paws. Um, sand paws are awesome, but these seem to be a more well-rounded tire. Like, say I happen to want to go hit the asphalt and do all of about 20 miles per hour, because this thing is not fast. We're used to a lot faster stuff. Um, but uh, these would actually hold up good. They're not so aggressive that they're going to wear out or chunk up. I mean, they'll, they will, but you know. Uh, anyway, I think these are good tires for this car. I think they're a good fit. Uh, no complaints. They ran great. Guys, in that description, I'll put a link to the tires and also the laser nut itself, the ESC, the servo, all the Vitavon stuff and all that. So guys, make sure you check that out. They are affiliate links, A-Main, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. They help out the channel when you guys use them. So guys, check that description, use those links, make sure you're subscribed, and thank you all for watching. Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.